So, Daniel and I did a little, had a little field trip today. We went to Harrisburg. Um, we wanted to make sure that we were on record and there to look into the eyes of the people who wanted to pass the Protecting a Marriage Amendment, which essentially would ban um, gay people from being allowed to be married in Pennsylvania. I'll reiterate that fact because it's already a law, but it would also put it in the Constitution. In addition, it would also make it so that civil unions, domestic partnerships, all that would be invalid. Long story short, there were a good amount of people there. It was good to see that people care about this and that they came out. And uh, after they got started, Representative Daryl Metcalf, who's the chairman of the committee that was uh, holding the hearing, went through regular business. They got through it very quickly. Um, and then rather than discuss two other, what he dubbed, you know, controversial uh, amendments, one being voter registration ID, which I won't go into here, and the other being the protect marriage amendment, um, that he wanted to hold them over to another session. Uh, essentially just trying to get a little bit less daylight since there was a whole row full of journals behind us. Long story short, if you live in Pittsburgh or near Pittsburgh, Representative Daryl Metcalf represents an area outside of Pittsburgh. And afterwards, I went up to him very politely, not with any reporters around or anything, and just asked him you know, why he felt the way he did. And that for me personally, this feels a lot like racism that I experienced in the South. And his, his response was, the majority agrees with him. And the majority feels this way, and the majority wants to protect marriage, and when I asked what he was protecting it from, he just kept repeating the fact that 31 states had passed constitutional amendments, and when I asked what he was protecting it from, he had no response to that. Um, quite frankly, he sounded like a segregationist, that you, you could have closed my, put your hands over my eyes and inserted black and white into our conversation, and it would have sounded like he was making an argument for segregation. Long story short, we came, we saw, we delayed, um, which is a victory in a state that has a Republican-controlled House, Senate, and governorship. So. If you live outside of Pittsburgh, again, please contact your reps, let them know where you stand. If you're in Pennsylvania generally, let your reps know where they stand. And if you live anywhere near Daryl Metcalf next election season, get ready because we're getting that dude out of office. That's it. I think we have a trip train to catch now.